Good afternoon. How y'all doing? Annie McCabe here, Claims Delegates. Hey, it's been a while since I reached out. I want to give you guys an update on how things are going and give you a tidbit of advice. I'm going to start with a tidbit. I was at a house today, landlord tenant. A tenant did some things and did not notify the landlord in a timely fashion we ran into a little bit of mold and a little bit of coverage issues due to long-term damage had a great conversation with the adjuster and the adjuster was a very stand-up individual and they did everything they could to find the right coverage to what ended up being a replacement of the entire kitchen due to long-term water damage from a leak the takeaway ordinarily landlord policies are written in with such language that would provide coverage in instances where your tenant did some things but didn't tell you about it. Come to find out, this particular landlord had never changed his policy from an HO3. Meaning, as far as the insurance company was concerned, he still lived there and the tenant was a guest of his. So, Needless to say, there was no coverage for long-term damage related to an unreported water leak because this landlord had never changed his policy. Word to the wise. Look at your policy. If you're going to rent your houses out, think about what your insurance needs are, not just what your income needs are. It's 82 degrees here in Portland, crossing the Markham seeing all the wonderful people on their boats. Well, for those of you not in Oregon right now, I gotta tell you, four months out of the year, this is paradise on earth. In the cave, Clint Delegates, signing out. See ya. Please allow me to introduce myself.